What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hill here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods and give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and I'll leave them link down in the description down below so you two can go down them if you download them if you are interested. Jeez, P. Alright, so today we're back in the snow, just in game, not outside. Knock on wood, just in case. Um, <laughs> but we, uh, we got some new trucks to cut, go over and wheel loaders. I thought I downloaded both these wheel loaders prior prior to this, and apparently I didn't. Because uh, I've been looking for the John Deere, and well, yeah, I couldn't find it. So now here here we are. We, we found it. It's it's here. Um, so yeah, I figured we, we'd do some more, some you know, some, some more snow. Just some more snow. Uh, Friday, I'm going to do a mod spot. So here's how Friday's going to work. We do a mod spotlight on this Ford. Everybody's been asking about. And it's, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. We're going to do a mod spotlight on on Friday. And hopefully it's released by then. If not, um, you know, the link will be provided when it is released. But I can't wait. That's I've been, I've been looking forward to playing with that in the server for a while. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into... Yeah, let's do this single rear axle not or the excuse me, six wheeler not the the eight wheeler yeah my math works anyway this this is why I, I i was looking forward to this one because this is like what del dot uses they pretty much use the work stars and um they have a couple terra stars and i can't remember what else they use but work star is like the um, what you see the most. Uh, so we're gonna do. Does it take the strobes off the bed? It does. I guess we'll do the oval LEDs. Design dump truck. Yeah, we're gonna do the solid spreader. Plow frame. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Mayberry, a.k.a. Elm Creek. No logo. Mass dot, New Hampshire dot. You know, we'll do Elm Creek. We'll do that. And then they run like a stainless steel. Yeah. That's what you see around here. Yep. Customize. Yes. <laughs> I wish I had like a more lights on it. vehicle no can't put you can't put okay hold on uh do you believe I have under silent no I I was on the there we go uh That's horse feed. Is there not a salt? One. There it is. Saving. Please do not turn off your computer. Nope. Nope. I want the truck. There we go. Oh, that's why I couldn't fill it because it was, uh, it was, it's okay. Yep, it was the plow. Start filling this bad boy. Uh. 
uh, activate double rate. Start plowing, I guess. I'm not good at this. Far as we're going, go ahead and lift our plow, knock over mailbox, hold up, how have I not seen that before? That's pretty funny, that's pretty funny. I had boo booed somewhere. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Jeez. Turn around, drop it down again. I'm really liking. I'm really liking this a lot. I really am. So it's a lot better than than the Ford. I'll say that. Right. So yeah, the six wheeler. We'll go ahead and give a five out of five. It works. It looks really, really good. Um, my only complaint: it doesn't really have an interior. And it could probably use some more lights, but you know, it is what it is. Figures can't be choosers. This looks really, really good, though, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be my rig when we do some snow plowing later later this week. So there we have it. Now let's go ahead and hop into the eight wheeler. Right? Two? No wait. 
ten wheel. Yeah, ten wheel. I, I can't math. We're gonna make this one, paint this one up kind of like the other one. See what difference we can. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have all the same stuff. Customize. Oval. You know, we'll do dough strobes just to make sure they work. Dump truck. Plow frame. Dump truck. Frame attacher. I don't like doing those. Ooh, big boy saw spreader. Uh, we'll do big boy saw spreader. Yeah. Keep all the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same ones. Yep. Uh, let's do that one orange as well. Design color. Oh wait, that's not. We don't. We don't have to deal with that here. Customize. Yes. All right. We need definitely need some more lights. We need a light bar, especially with this one. Where there's no dump bed. Got a light bar on that sucker. And uh, back here. Fill this bad boy up. I wonder if it, this is like the same capacity as the one that's in the dump bed. Alright, here we go. Rotator plow. Let's do... Double... And then... How do you... Oh, control Z. Full blown, let's go. Where's all the snow at? I thought there was more. You can tell I don't have a snow plow. Super smooth. Super smooth. Yeah, I'm going to say, these are a lot better. Uh, then the Ford F-550. I, I, not remembering the International, the CV all that much. But these work a whole heck of a lot better than what that Ford did. Smoothly plowing everything. Oh! Say smoothly plowing as I get launched in the air. I 
I think we'll go ahead and give this one a 5 out of 5 as well. This is a freaking beast of a truck. I just wish they had better interiors. And more lights. More lights. Del Dot is lit up like a Christmas tree when they come through here. It would just be cool to have some more lights on, like, especially this one have like a light bar of some sort. To make it more, more seen. This thing will go 5 out of 5 as well. It's a beautiful truck. It, everything works on it. I can't complain. Let's move on to the deer. I'm kind of shocked with the with the Woodmeadow Farms putting out a lot of these DOT trucks that he doesn't put like a light bar on on his wheel loaders. We got two beacons which it's all right but we need an LED light bar on this thing let's see what we can do to it Dude, this is the bucket that comes with it as well by the way customize doesn't have a picture is that Okay, so the only thing you do is license plate. Alright, so what you see is what you get. Alright. Let's see if I can follow the road here. I hope I got my bucket down enough. Oh, it's full already. Yeez, hey, yeez. fills up super quick or did I just have that much snow on the ground it could be very well be I have that much snow on the ground Thirty four miles per hour let's see if we'll do it oh this interior look like Pretty nice. I'm oh, sorry. Beacons for safety. There we go. Now the road entrances are clear. Alright. So yeah, pretty simple wheel loader. Uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It does look good. It looks really, really good. Uh, and it works. Uh, now this one I think only comes with the bucket. Let me check real quick. Yeah. See, this one only comes with a bucket. The next one we're about to do, though, comes with a bucket and forks, I believe. Let's double check. Yep. We're only going to test out the bucket today because I suck with, with forks. Teleports. Actually, used to drive a forklift in real life. And I suck at driving a forklift in the game. Oh, now this one's more like it. Oh, buddy. Picking up all the snow. Beacons for safety.
Is it only filled at 86 percent? It looks like it's just... It looks like it fills to 86% and then just gets stuck. Oh, there we go. Let's have the bucket open there. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely the beefier of the two. See if we have any options on this thing. Nothing on the bucket. What about this? Now, what you see is what you get. All right. So, with that being said, I think I've got enough to uh, go ahead and rate it a five out of five as well. It does look good inside as well. Everything works. It looks good outside. So. I got no complaints. I'll go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5. And that is going to do it for today's Mod Spotlight, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's Mod Spotlight, be sure to leave a like, uh, like down below. If you guys do want to see future Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, click that notification bell. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.